G'day, g'day, g'day. My name is Pearl. I'm from Australia and welcome to my booktube channel. I'm going to start from the very beginning and tell you a little bit about myself. I am a calligrapher. This room that we are in now used to be a spare bedroom turned into a storage room, then became my studio and now I've combined it as my studio and library. I'm going to show you around. It is a little bit of a mess at the moment because I am waiting for my wing back chair to arrive. It's arriving today. So I am so pumped to get it. Once it arrives, I have to put it together because apparently it will be delivered without the legs attached. So I have to attach the legs to it. I'm not very handy, so I don't know how I'll go, but I'll give it a good old crack and hopefully I'll be able to sit on it by the end of the day and then start reading. Please excuse the mess because I have had to move furniture and bookshelves to make room for this chair that's going to come. Um, but um, at least it'll give you an idea of what I've got in here and then during the day, I will put it all back together and magically hopefully it'll be clean and um, all put back together and all my books will be um, in their proper places and <laughs> and then I'll be able to relax so I'm going to show you around for uh, what it looks like now and then as the day goes um, we'll go through the process together of cleaning it together. <laughs> Here we go. It is going to be a little bit messy because I've had to move furniture and bookshelves around in anticipation of the delivery of my reading chair, but I'm going to take you through anyway. As we walk in over here, we have a massive washi rack that my hubby made and I do collect washi tape and I have quite a few. I subscribe to some planner uh, subscription boxes, which is why I get, I have a lot of those. Behind the door, I've got a couple of um, magnetic white boards with a cork board. And I've just got photos of my family and my pets and my friends. And then over here we have um one of my bookshelves which is also drawers and i just have storage in there this bookshelf will be my fantasy and young adult books um as you can see there's only two shelves so i'm not sure what i'm going to do because i know that there's going to be a lot more books going into that shelf on the third shelf here i've got a whole bunch of Tiffany and Co books which I probably will move but I just don't know where to move it um, but I will need to move that to make room for more young adult fantasy books because I'm anticipating that I will be getting a lot more of those books okay over here is where the mess begins so this bookshelf here is um, a Billy bookcase from Ikea and I put a door on it and that houses all of my hardbacks that has like the special edition ones for example the Waterstones Dark Artifices or the Cassandra Clare books uh, what else I've got the Diana Gabaldon 20th anniversary editions all that kind of stuff and behind that, well, this is going to go next to the washi tape rack. Um, and behind this is my antique secretary bureau. Uh, this actually folds down. I will show you that later. Over here, I keep my planners and my classics. Next to the bureau, I've got my contemporary books. And then uh, these shelves I've just got from Ikea and I've just got some drawers. This is my drafting table where I do all my calligraphy. 
um, that houses all my calligraphy stuff. I've got another bookshelf here for my calligraphy books. These books will go on this shelf here. And then on this bookshelf, I've got more Tiffany books, which I think I'm going to have to move as well. When my reading chair arrives, I intend on putting it in that spot over there. I hope it fits. I made sure that it, it's not a very big chair, so I'm hoping that it'll fit right there. It might make this room really small and cluttered, but I'm not going to know that until the chair comes. And um, okay, so that's the mini tour at the moment. And uh, I'll check back with you later when that chair comes. So I'm now sitting in my chair but what an ordeal. The delivery driver didn't deliver it until 6 p.m. Um, when he arrived, he asked for my help to carry it out of the truck, which I did. I helped him carry it out of the truck. He then just dumped the chair all boxed up by the front door and said I would have to unbox it before taking it inside the house otherwise it wouldn't fit in the door and then he took off he didn't help take after asking me to help him I'm just gonna rant because I am so angry after asking me to help him carry the chair out of the truck he didn't even help me carry the chair into the house. Wow, it was, it was tough. It was tough, you guys. Um, I had to do it by myself. Tom isn't home. <sighs> had to do it all by myself. I had to unbox it in the front yard and then carry it into the house by myself get it into this room by myself and then I had to put the legs on which was easy enough to do because uh, there were screws on the on the leg and you just twisted it into the screws into the so that was easy enough to do but I am knackered completely and totally knackered but my work isn't done because even though it's in position. I still have to move two bookcases back to their normal spot and then put these these books these books back in their shelves. I've got books over here that I've got to put back on the shelf so no rest for the wicked. Um, I'm going to sit in here for a while and then go back and uh, tackle the bookshelves. I'll be back in a second. I am still sitting in my chair, but my next job is to move these two bookcases back over there behind the door. And oh my God, I just don't want to tackle it, but I cannot leave the room looking like this. So I'm going to get on that and I will come back later. All right, everybody. I've got all my stuff sorted. Let's go have a look. Welcome to my studio slash library. Let me take you on a little bit of a tour. So there's my brand new chair. It does take a lot of room. Um, as you can see, it's, um, there's not much room left in this room at all. So as we go in here, um, this is my Tiffany and Co slash fashion, I suppose, um, books. 
I may move these because I have a feeling I'm going to need this particular bookshelf for more contemporary or maybe a continuation of the young adult fantasy books but I'll see how I go because at the moment I have nowhere else to put these books um, but at least I've got a couple more um, shelves on the bottom here that I can use um, this one here is uh, my calligraphy um, books uh, and I've got another shelf down there so that's pretty cool all of my bookshelves are from Ikea and I have put lights on them as well uh, and that just highlights the books and and I think it's it makes a really nice touch uh, to the to the shelves um, if we come across this way you will see uh, that's the window this is my drafting table uh, for when I do calligraphy work and then we go over to this corner which is my favorite corner these shelves are also from Ikea I think they're just picture shelves I can't remember what they're called and then I just painted them uh, that Tiffany blue or I think it's called sea mist um, that that color there is sea mist I think and oh I can't remember what that color is but they're some of my planners and some of my um, stickers and stuff and then this is where my contemporary books live I did place some uh, I did put like gaps on the end of these just so I can add more books to it and I've got that last shelf there then I've got my antique um, secretary bureau and this is where I keep all of my planners my these are really special books actually let me open it up for you okay so this is where I keep all of my planners and these are um, specialty I think they're penguin classic um, what are they penguin classic cloth bound books and also some more classics there this is where I do my planning uh, I decorate my planners or my weekly spreads and all that kind of stuff so all of these will be just colored pens um, my, the tools that I use like scissors tweezers you know stuff like that uh, these will be sticker books a bin obviously my speakers I can close this door but I don't tend to because I sit at this desk so much there's no point um, closing the door at all but I do close these doors I think it just to protect the books you know and I think they look they look so good behind they, they look so good behind that that lead light cupboard and then I showed you my door before so I'm not going to go through that again these are the bookshelves that I've had to move to put that chair in and I would say that this would be predominantly Cassandra Clare uh, let's see so I've got um, the infernal devices up there chain of gold or two copies two different copies of chain of gold the mortal instruments uh, the dark artifices and then some oh man I'll open the door for you that's better um, I've got the water stones um, rune special editions for the dark artifices and then you've got the normal edition hardback copies of the dark artifices um, the red scrolls of magic a couple of different versions of those um, lost book of the white a couple different version of those then over here I've got my Diana Gabaldon Outlander series and my Twilight series which I'm going to have to move because 
I'm anticipating my Cassandra Claire will expand which means these will have to go and then this is also a Billy no it's not a Billy it's a Nedby bookshelf from Ikea as well this is more for um, storing DVDs and CDs I needed another bookshelf um, that was not as wide as this Billy um, that can fit behind the door and, and won't obstruct the door just for more books um, I've got the selection series there and then I've got the mass what, what is it called is it um, the mass paperback of the Outlander series and then the mass paperback of the Game of Thrones series as well in this shelf here I have books that I read when I was a teenager that really stuck with me um, so the first book there is Drew Barrymore's Little Girl Lost it's her first autobiography I think she wrote it when she was 15 and I just found that really interesting the next book along is April Fool's Day by Bryce Courtney um, that really stuck with me because it's a it's an autobiography his son wrote um, his son had hemophilia and back then when he wrote it um, he was getting blood transfusions and uh, through one of his blood transfusions he contracted AIDS and yeah that that really stuck with me as well wow that is a tear joker ellie is a book about a 16 year old girl uh that lived through the holocaust and her story is more brutal more horrific and it, it was more tragic than anne frank's diary I think because she lived straight away she lived in the concentration camps whereas the diary of Anne Frank she didn't have the hardship in the beginning whereas Ellie had the hardship from the very beginning and that story well I've, I've had to put that book in the freezer a couple times the next one is to kill a mockingbird and we studied that in year nine and i really love that book uh the next book is a sampler book that i haven't read it was a gift so i haven't read it yet the next book is somewhere in time which also was made into a movie that starred christopher reeve and jane seymour which i loved so when i saw the book i had to buy it and read it and the last book there is Zed for Zachariah and also I studied that in year nine in high school and I really love that book as well and then I showed you my washi tape rack and then we head back over to my chair um, and then I think I showed you um, that shelf over there what I didn't show you was uh, behind this cupboard here uh, there are more books in there um, I'm I'm gonna have to move all of this around uh, to get into there but I do have a photo of it so instead of moving furniture around like I said I am knackered I'm just gonna post like a photo of it in this video just so you can see what's behind there as well.
the last thing I'm going to do is just turn the light off. It is now eight o'clock at night and um, so it's quite dark outside. I'm going to turn the light off or the main light so that you guys can see these bookshelves when they're highlighted by the lights above them. As you can see, those lights are brilliant. It, they're kind of like spotlights for the bookshelf, which I just absolutely love. Um, on this one, I've got two of them because it's a wider shelf. Just totally love that. I also love how it's got the ambient light there for for my reading chair. And then for Cassandra Clare's and Diana Gabaldon's um, case, you can see like it's just really highlighted them. It looks so good. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a light for this bookcase. Um, because it's not really, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Um, I didn't put a light on the antique bureau because I don't want to wreck that bureau, but I do have a light, um, for that shelf there as well. Um, and I also have a light underneath here as well okay so the light that I have underneath that shelf is also from Ikea and it does change color as you can see um, but you can also have it um, stationary in the color that you want as well but I don't normally have that on okay so that is it for my library tour um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it has been a long day. I am so totally knackered. I'm ready for bed. Seriously. Like, wow, like the waiting around for this chair and then carrying it in here and moving shelves around and <laughs> it, <laughs> oh my God, you guys, it has been a day, but it's a good day because now I can uh relax in here like tomorrow like I can go to bed now knowing that tomorrow I can be in here and you know I can relax and read and you know it's gonna be my happy place I hope you can join me for my next videos and all future videos um, because from now on, now that you've had the library tour and it's all out of the way and we've got all that, we can now talk about books. At the moment, I'm reading A Discovery of Witches. I just found out that there is a read-along and it started on the 18th of September and it goes through to the 31st of October. So I'm going to have to power read to get through to I think they're up to chapter 30 something I'm not sure I have to look at the calendar but I'm going to have to power read to catch up so that I can um uh join in with the with the read along but anyway I'm gonna do that I'm gonna talk about that book after I finish reading it probably after the 31st so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up because I would really appreciate it. If you want to join me again for, um, I don't know, let's talk about books because basically that's what I'm going to be doing, right? Uh, I have all of these books and more books are coming. I've ordered some more books and I'll be doing unboxings as well as um talking about the books I've read we can have a discussion you know you know let's just talk about books and how much we love them and or hate them I suppose um so yeah subscribe to my channel and um I'll catch you on the next one see ya